Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So what you guys just saw was footage from the gender reveal and as you can see we found out that we are having a girl and we are so excited like you guys have no idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah we both wanted a girl and surprisingly we both got what we wanted yeah. although a couple weeks ago we did a gender prediction test and based on the 15 questions that we asked and did um it turned out that you know have boy. it predicted that we were going to have a boy <laughs> and that was wrong yeah <laughs> so Today we just wanted to do a video basically reacting to finding out we are having a girl and just answering some of the questions that you guys had for us. Before we continue, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see all our videos and of course hit that notification bell so you won't miss out an upload. So as we mentioned, we did the gender prediction test a um, couple weeks ago and if you haven't seen that video, you can always go back and look at it and to have an idea of what we did and the prediction. But like I said, we it predicted that we were having a boy and we ended up finding out that we were having a girl. <laughs> and, but one of the notable um, tests that we did in that video was the Chinese gender chat, as yeah. the name. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it predicted that we were having a girl. Yeah. And a lot of, um, you know, we kind of got some feedback from a couple of people and videos that we've seen where people have done that test and usually, like most of the times, they get it, it's accurate. So if anyone watching has been pregnant before and probably tried the Chinese chat, or maybe you can, uh, if you've already made a child, maybe you can just go back and look at it <laughs> and just let us know if it was accurate or if it is accurate based on the child that you have. We're not saying that it is accurate because we know all these things are just, you know, for fun, whatever. But it's kind of cool that it was accurate. So yeah. <laughs> it would be very funny if like it was accurate for everyone. Because so far all I've heard is how accurate it is. Yeah. So let's get into the questions. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't even really shown him the questions. So I maybe show him like two or three, but not all of them. <laughs> so the first question that we got came from Jillian on WhatsApp. Jillian is my girl. She was at the gender reveal party and she was in blue, although I know she thought it was a girl. I don't know why she was in blue. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> she asked, why did you all want a girl? It's an interesting question. <laughs> you uh, well, I wanted a girl so that I could honestly dress her up and you know take cute pictures of her and matching outfits and stuff like that <laughs> so yeah that's kind of why I wanted a girl although I could probably do the same thing with a boy I just wanted a little girl well for me like you mentioned um, a little girl is like she's pretty fun to dress up and take pictures of and for me I mean with a little boy you could do similar in terms of dressing up and stuff like that but for me I have um, a few nephews already and most of the children that's have like that's grown up around me have been boys so I feel like it would be a good experience to have a little girl and try to you know grow up from a man's perspective and teach her certain things about main thing and how to behave and I don't know it, it just feels interesting you want a daddy's girl you just, you just want a daddy's girl I know and I think she will be a daddy's girl <laughs> so the next question comes from Neil Shai I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly Neil Shai Nicola Laura from Facebook and she asked have you guys decided on the name of your baby girl <laughs> Actually, we have. Well, yeah. we, we thought of a name that I randomly came up with while we were just going to sleep <laughs> one <Yeah>. night. <laughs> and we, we never really said if we confirm, like finalize on it, but I think we both, both like yeah, it. Yeah, I, well, I think I've already decided that I want to use that name. So I haven't told anyone, none of my friends, that we have decided on a name. So sorry guys, you're finding out no, and no, I'm not going to tell you what the name is. <laughs> uh, we, we plan on keeping it a secret, most likely until she's born. Yeah. And then when she knows her name, then everybody else will know. <laughs> yeah. But we are looking for a middle name. So if you guys have any suggestions for a middle name, and we're more open to, you know, different kinds of names. 
this time for the middle name once it's a nice and unique name then we will consider it so I can't take that seriously link on just link on to ask link on, on whatsapp just ask. link on to ask something like that <laughs> oh yeah brown sugar by Oli <laughs> wow seriously <laughs> I wouldn't expect that question from anybody else. He say he he just trying to make a lime squash. He's trying to make a lime squash. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the time the video come out, that lime squash should be sense again. <laughs> yes, we are brown sugar. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> the next question came from Cherian on Instagram and she asked what are you both looking forward to now that it's a girl? Like when she's born, what are you eager to experience? <laughs> I can never really sell it myself. Like I want to dress her up in pretty clothes and bows and take pictures of her. <laughs> like <laughs> me, um, I'm just looking forward to the experience on a whole and just having a baby to play with and you know speaking a baby voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's a baby voice? Nah, it has to be natural. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't wait to hear your baby voice. <laughs> I mean, I have like a number of children that have grown up around me. I have nephews that have grown up around me. I've and, never heard you speak in a baby voice. And I've like played with them, <laughs> have fun with them, pinched their face, <laughs> stuff like that. And you know, it's been a long time I never really like like hold a baby or play for a baby me actually. Too. Yeah. So i just looking forward to holding uh, in my arms and you know. And not just that, but looking forward to the experience of teaching, mm -hmm. teaching a baby and instilling, you know, our values and experiences. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm looking forward to dressing up and all this stuff. But it would be so nice to, you know, start from scratch again. Like, I feel like I'll have a lot of flashbacks of when I was a little girl, you know, playing with dolls again and watching cartoons and you know those kind of things. Like, it would be. I think it would be very fun. The next question comes from Daniel Fadel and he asks on Facebook Messenger. As a young married couple in Dominica, you guys are being very transparent about your lives and growing through your first pregnancy. Does it ever get uncomfortable putting both yourselves out there so much and how do you both find the courage to put it all online the way that you do? Um, I don't know. It's... <laughs> It doesn't seem, it doesn't really seem like a challenge to us, honestly. I don't think we were ever in the mindset that, you know, we we don't want nobody to know nothing about us. You know, like, we have nothing to hide. I mean, we're experiencing life, we're learning just like everybody else. I mean, like, from the time we, we got together, going for the months and years together, we have been, like, really open with each other and, like, really close. So. It's like we always just embrace each other and like just not worry about what people have to say yeah. and people have to think. I mean, it doesn't feel like a challenge. It doesn't feel like a burden. It doesn't feel like we are putting too much out there. I mean, a lot of people may have their opinions and may think that we are putting too much out there, but it doesn't, it honestly doesn't feel like that to us. And whatever we are passionate about and YouTube is something that we are both learned to love and interested in and we just feel like we're doing it for fun for the enjoyment entertainment and we get to spend time with each other doing this and you know it's we enjoy it and we don't see no reason to hide what we know is genuine between the both of us so the next question comes from empress.22 on instagram and she asked well she said first i want to congratulate you on your glow during your pregnancy Thank you. <laughs> she asked, what advice would you give to me who keeps hearing, don't get pregnant, now you will spoil your future? Honestly, <laughs> I, a, a baby will not spoil your future, I mean, come on. But I think as long as you're responsible and you are financially stable and you know mentally stable and ready to have a baby, then you should. It shouldn't spoil your future. You just have to make sure you're ready and have a partner who is as ready and as stable as you are, unless you're under age, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, as, as long as you're an adult, as long as you have a partner who is committed to you and, you know, ready as you are to have a baby, because mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense that you want to, that you have a baby 
just for yourself and your partner mm -hmm. ready but again everyone's situation is different, different so yes. you need to assess your situation and know if you can do it yeah so she also asked <laughs> Colleen I know you know a thing or two on changing diapers but does Sugi know anything of course I do <laughs> <laughs> Actually, listen. The, the the truth is, I don't know how to change a diaper. I've okay. I I know how to change a diaper, but I have never changed a diaper before. You know the theory of changing a diaper. <laughs> I have never changed a diaper before. I don't really have any babies in my family that I ever had to deal with before. I ever had to watch, and it's not my fault. Okay, it never happened. I never got that experience. So yeah, I so. mean, you're, you're not the first woman to have a child who has never like taken care of children before change of diaper before all those that come before you have learned somehow learned from experience so i think combined we will be just fine <laughs> so she asked as well Sagi, can you stay home with your daughter whole day without calling Karin? of course i can <laughs> <laughs> i mean in the first the first couple of weeks obviously a child needs their mother the most i believe so at that point it might be kind of difficult but yeah as long as she is a couple months in and i'll be able to take care of her alone i think so too <laughs> i mean i don't know about not calling me at all but i have a feeling you might be the one calling <laughs> really the next question comes from calvin libla6 on instagram and he asks, what's the biggest challenge of being married at a young age? Well, that's if there are any. You guys make marriage look so easy. By the way, congrats on your baby girl. I really love your YouTube channel. Thank you, Calvin. Thank you so much for watching. What do you think is the biggest challenge of being married at a young age? Biggest challenge that I can think of right now would probably be financial stability. You know, at a young age, obviously you may not be as financially stable as you would be like five years down the line so yeah i think that might be one of the biggest challenges um, because getting married obviously having a wedding can be really expensive uh, that's but if you want a big wedding that's if you make it expensive <laughs> <laughs> but um, for us it wasn't so difficult i would say because we planned our own wedding and we made sure we budgeted properly and we stuck to it and we did what we could we didn't go outside of our budget or outside of what we could afford and we just made sure that we had a really nice wedding and we enjoyed it with the budget that we set and if you think of it at a young age most people live with their parents or with family or sometimes you rent in a roommate at that point it can be easier to become financially stable because you can save more you can also spend more recklessly i would say because <laughs> at that point you you don't have as much responsibility when you think of having to leave all of that get married moving together and then you are totally dependent on each other then that can be a challenge as well yeah. but i think we've been handling it pretty well i mean like everybody you experience the months of being brooks <laughs> <laughs> some people though would probably would not admit that but it, it's life it's, it, it is happens. part of life and, and we can't just show the good and never show you know yeah. the reality of the situation so yeah that was that was your answer but for me i agree with you 100 percent. that is definitely a challenge another challenge would be because you're so young you still have a lot of growing to do and it can be a little difficult if you fall in love with someone who is you know one way and then they grow up and they maybe grow out of certain habits or they grow into certain habits that you're not used to it's a challenge growing and learning new things together because people change and it's not always for the best and sometimes it's not always things that you like so communication is very important if you feel like you know something is changing about your partner that you probably don't like you should definitely communicate with them and let them know it's just important to communicate to avoid any problems happening in your marriage so the last two questions are from facebook and tesh tesh lewis i hope i pronounce that correctly ask how long do you plan on staying on youtube forever <laughs> as long as there's youtube <laughs> i mean i don't think we have a plan on stopping i think we only plan on getting better and creating more content and you know more videos so i don't think we're gonna stop anytime soon the last question comes from why to kubali tall girl bon teeth and she asked y'all posting a video for labor day delivery basically asking if i'm going to vlog the birth and labor of the baby 
I think we we should, in my opinion, I think we, we should vlog it. Obviously not everything because there's certain things that can be personal and maybe too intimate to show. And you know, just vlog the experience so we can always go back and look at it in the future. Honestly, at first I was very, how can I say it, not sure back and forth whether I should vlog that experience or not because I feel like it is a very intimate experience and I'm not too sure if I wanted to show you know that whole scenario and I might be looking miserable and I might be crying and you know stuff like that <laughs> honestly I'm just being real like I don't know if I, I didn't know if I wanted to show that but now I feel like I need to like I feel like I want to show people the experience and I want to show them the real experience i mean i'm still going to try to not look so miserable but that's just for me that's not just that's not for you guys that's just for me because i want to feel good during that time but i will try to show you guys as much as i can so you guys this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching us answer your questions and we're just looking forward to having our baby girl with us yeah having to bring her home and Start taking care of her <laughs> and you guys have been so so supportive so many kind words so many you know love and just support from you guys it's it's overwhelming like yeah, thank really you so much yeah. from people we don't even know <laughs> and i feel like we you know we're getting to know people that we never met before mm -hmm. and it's just nice to know that you know even strangers are happy for you mm -hmm. just seeing how you are you know it, it is what makes us keep doing these videos as well like you guys are a big part of the reason why we continue to do this and we just really appreciate you guys so much so keep watching stay tuned subscribe to the channel like this video leave a comment below you can ask us any other questions anything at all just continue giving us love and we'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>